So I got a trench power to the kiln. The meter's on the other side of this wall. So I'm just gonna trench right up to it. But I've got the drain for the kitchen comes out and turns into a four inch pipe and runs around the house like this. So it's somewhere right in this area. There's some massive roots right there from this huge cedar behind us. This guy. This is gonna be some tough digging right here. And dig it till I get past this four inch drain pipe that I should find. And then I can bring the backhoe and dug, dig the rest all the way. Looks like I'll be fixing some drain pipe. So that root was like, there's a fat root right on top of this thing. Nice. Uh, let me dig this out. Oh, this smells lovely. Oh. You see all the sludge flowing back? It's because when they installed this, they didn't have enough drop. And so it's like pretty much level all the way to the tank from here. So there's just like a nice layer of sludge and disgusting water that just sits in there all the time. <sighs> Let me get this thing plugged up and start digging this trench to get rid of this nasty water. All right, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna get it this time. Man, if I hadn't I cut this off.
Okay. That's exactly what I didn't want to do today, but. <sighs> John's coming at 9 o'clock. And now my phone's talking to me. I need to move these ICs. They've been here too long. Um, oh, Justin Rhodes. Shovel. I don't know if like, there's any here. Why is there no one in here? Because there's never one where you need one. Why don't know. Oh! <laughs> okay. We're going to make a really long pipe. We're going to make a really long pipe. Maybe we have to use all of these up. We might be able to use it. I'm going to put this wire flip. Yep, that and three more. There's four wires that have to go through it. Oh! We might do that real soon. I was thinking of doing it tonight, but we have to get the chase, we have to get some rope, we have to get the lube, we have to figure out exactly how we're going to do this. It's not going to be easy. We have to cut this tape off. Yeah. For that tape. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Yeah? Yeah, thank you.
All right. I just gotta string the wires through it. I have Christy turn the vacuum on, suck this up the tube. All right, turn it on. Okay, turn it off. I'm just tying it as we go. That sure works. It pulls really hard. Okay, turn it back on, and as soon as I raise my hand, turn it off. Okay, now, up here. All right, so now I'm gonna get a rope and tie it to the end of this string, and I'm gonna pull the rope back through this way, and then we'll take the wire and tie it to the rope and pull the wire up and through and be done. God, it's August and it's a little chilly. It's crazy. It just never gets warm here. I'll take it though. What the hell's the name of these things? <laughs> this is the way I unwind my packs, basically. So I made this contraption here. It's got an orange bucket in the middle and then just an all thread. And then I set it up on these um, saw horses. And then it just spin and unwinds like a giant spool that's what i made so just a cheap homemade spool and i'm going to take off the pecs i'm going to put the wire on and that way i can just unspool the wire and feed it directly into the pipe it was just a bucket but i had a whole bunch of hardened concrete in it. I guess that gives it some strength. That's pretty freaking heavy. That sure has meant a lot. <laughs> uh, we'll see if that holds on. I have another one in case this breaks and then let's hope this will work.
Okay, so that's the wire. Yeah, we did it. I was like, what was so hard about pulling that, huh? Next, I gotta just dig this out a little bit deeper by hand. And then I can slide this pipe underneath and then I'll do the water line. do her. Okay. It's all at least two feet deep, it's not a little deeper. All right, and then right here I'm gonna split to a hydrant. Got to hand rake some of this stuff. I just got to take a break. But I got it super compacted. I just got a hand shovel around up here too. Hi. Almost filled in. Toddler speak.
So me and Avery got the water line in and the yard hydrants and no leaks. So I put a little valve. This will be just outside the door basically. So I have a shut off right outside the building. And this half inch water line is gonna be uh, for the auto feed for the hydro uh, radiant system. So the inflow radiant heat needs an auto feed. So a constant water supply basically to add makeup water to the system. And this will be that. So I just ran it up here to that guy and I'll hook up drip irrigation over here eventually. And then I got my conduit with the wire to charge the gate and power for the light pole.